So now we're going to look at solving right triangles when we have two sides but no angles. So you'll notice that currently we don't know what this angle is, we don't know what this angle is, and we don't know what the hypotenuse is. Now, hypotenuse is pretty straightforward. That's just the Pythagorean theorem. If I'm going to find the hypotenuse in this case, I'm probably just going to go ahead and do Pythagorean theorem, which is 8 squared plus 21 squared, and then take the square root. So let's see, 64 plus, uh, I don't have 21 squared committed to memory, so we're going to go there, 441 equals, and then take the square root of that. Now, in, in math class, they'll make you leave it as square root of 505 and simplify under the radical, and blah, 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 blah. Just in, in physics, we're okay. Boom. Get a decimal for now. We're good. Hypotenuse is 22.47, we'll say. Really, I should make it 22.5 or just leave it at 22, but it's based on significant figures, but I'm not worried about that. I'll just go 22.47. Seems like a good place to round. Okay, check. But we still don't have an angle. And when you solve a right triangle, part of the deal is you have to find all the parts. In this case, we need one of these angles. Let's go after this one. We'll call it theta. Now, I don't want to use hypotenuse, because just in case I made a mistake, I'm not going to use this. I mean, you could if you're feeling pretty confident, but I want to use this side and this side. What are they? Remember, in a problem, the first thing I tell you to do is identify what we're looking at. So for this angle, this is my opposite, this is my adjacent, and of course this is the hypotenuse. And I want to use this side and this side. So I want to use opposite and adjacent, or adjacent and opposite. So I ask myself, what trig function out of the Sokotoa involves opposite and adjacent? Tangent, correct. So the tangent of theta, I don't know what it is, is equal to the opposite, which is 8 centimeters, divided by the adjacent, which is 21 centimeters. Well, okay, I can get 8 over 21. In fact, I'll just do it on the calculator over here. So 8 divided by 21 is 0.381. So that means the tangent of the unknown angle is 0.381. And in fact, I, let's do it this way. If I was working on a calculator, we should probably show you this. So I do 8 divided by 21, boom. Now, I'm going to use that entire number to be more, um, I don't know if accurate is the right word, but to be uh, more precise maybe, or whatever. I'm not going to, I'm not going to round value, use rounded values like this. I'm going to write this because there's just enough space to write all the other garbage. All right, so we have the tangent, but we don't know the angle. This is where we work the, the tangent function that in this case, but it could work for any trig function. We work it in reverse. In fact, we'll do it right here. So we are going to find the angle by doing the inverse tangent. See, if we know the angle, we take the tangent. But if we don't know the angle, we do something called the inverse tangent of the number. Now, in this case, like I said, I'm probably going to not use just this rounded value I'm going to use the entire value that you see here. How do you do the inverse tangent? It's really very simple. Um, you find a little button on your calculator. Let's see. Um, it's in here somewhere. They got to have an inverse button, don't they? I'm a little shocked that I don't see it somewhere. Hmm. No. Am I missing it? You guys see it and are laughing at me right now? Aha, this one. The, the arrow is the shift key. There it is. So to get our other functions, we hit this arrow here. Bam! Notice it over here. It says tangent with a little one, just like we see here. It's called the inverse tangent. And since I already have the 0 0.3809523, blah, 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 up on the screen there, I can just hit inverse tangent, and it gives it to me in degrees. So about 20... 0.85 degrees. So theta is 20.85 degrees. Now, 
This is probably the one time I do an exception for when I say try not to use a value that you calculated. Use your originals. If I know this angle, I'm probably just going to subtract it from 90 to get this one. But let's stay true to form. How would I do it if I was going to use a trig function? So for this angle up here, I'll do this in like green. So for this angle up here, this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. So for that one, I would say the tangent of, uh, I won't call it theta, we'll call it phi, is equal to 21 over 8. And then I would take the inverse tangent of 21 over 8, whatever that is, to get phi, that upper angle there. Let's see what we can do. So I do 21 divided by 8, get an answer, and do the inverse tangent. And that angle comes out to be about 69.1. And I think that makes sense, doesn't it? Because... If that's 69.1, and what was the other angle? About 20.9. That makes sense, because they should add up to 90 degrees. There we go. So there is a way to do it with trig functions as well. I could see myself, in this case, definitely just doing 90 minus 20.9 and getting this number, um, even though the 20.9 is something that I used. Of course, it would want to make sense. If my calculator, if I hit a button wrong or something, my calculator came back with, you know, 62 degrees for this, I, I, something's wrong, right? The way this triangle's set up. Although you have to be a little bit careful because not every triangle that you're going to see in the packets or in homework is uh, to scale. And what that means when you see that on your packet, let me explain, is let's say that you're given... Um, when they say the drawings aren't to scale, what it means is they're really being lazy. And I'm as guilty of it as anybody. It might be the case. They may, you may look at this triangle and think, well, it looks like this side is equal to this one. But then when you look carefully at the numbers, this might be a 7 and this might be an 18. And you're like, well, that doesn't... That, and they get away with it by saying drawing not to scale. In other words... Go with the numbers, not what the picture looks like. Um, and then so your angles won't look like, won't really be 45, 45, even though they look like they should be. They're just using this standard triangle shape to help you identify opposites, adjacents, and so forth. And hypotenuse is, it's really not correctly sized. I mean, 18 to 7 should be something like that, right? Something like that. But they won't make it to scale. They'll just draw a regular old triangle of some kind and toss in the numbers and set you loose.